like this. Mic test. Good morning. Let us begin our novena. <clears throat> Immaculate Mother, to you do we plead. We ask God our Father for help in our need. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Pray for our country, the land of our birth. We pray for all nations that peace be on earth. Ave, Ave. Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this, you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten this sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Mary Immaculate, Star of the Morning, Chosen before the creation began, destined to bring through the light of your dawning, conquest of Satan and rescue to man. Bend from your throne at the voice of our crying, Look to this earth where your footsteps have trod. Stretch out your arms to us living and dying. Mary Immaculate, Mother of God. We sinners honor your sinless perfection 
fallen and weak, for God's mercy we plead. Grant us the shield of your mighty protection. Measure your aid by the depth of our need. Bend from your throne at the voice of our crying. Look to this earth where your footsteps have trod. Stretch out your arms to us living and dying. Mary Immaculate, Mother of God. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, from the cross Jesus gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son. Strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always loved others so much. Help us to do the same while praying for our own intentions and for all the intentions of all here present at this novena. We earnestly ask you, our mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and the unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your powerful help. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother, perpetual help, we choose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families in your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor, so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin, conceived without sin, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help, pray for us. We sinners call to you, loving Mother, pray for us, that we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. 
Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be more and more like our Divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may strive to be true Christians by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in a spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us. To pray that the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may care and protect God's creation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may defend the human dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. Loving Mother, pray for us. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. Loving Mother, <clears throat> pray for us. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, pray for us. That our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your son's resurrection. Loving Mother, pray for us. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. Holy Mary, pray for us. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Consecration. Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God and Mother of the Church, you are also our mother, ever ready to help us. With hearts full of love for you, we consecrate ourselves to your Immaculate Heart, so that we may be your devoted children. Obtain for us true sorrow for our sins and fidelity to the promises of our baptism. We consecrate our minds and hearts to you, that we always do the will of our Heavenly Father. We consecrate our lives to you, that we may love God better and live not for ourselves, but for Christ, your Son, and we may see him and serve him in others. By this humble act of consecration, dear Mother of Perpetual Help, we pledge to model our lives on you, the perfect Christian, so that, consecrated to you in life and in death, we may belong to your divine Son for all eternity. Amen. Amen. Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, what shall I ask of thee? I do not sigh for the wealth of earth, for the 
rejoice with faith and flee but mother of Christ mother of Christ this do I long to see the bliss untold which your arms enfold the treasure upon your knee. Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, I toss in a stormy sea. Oh, lift your child as a beacon light to the port where I fain would be. And Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, this do I ask of thee. is o'er, oh, stand on the shore and show him at last to me. Thanksgiving prayer, Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that they may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well so that through them we may grow in love for him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of his love to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual health. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession and especially through this novena inspire us to greater confidence in God's loving mercy and perpetual help. Grant that they may always do the holy will of God and persevere in his love. To the most holy trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayers for the sick, especially. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other afflictions of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Let us begin our morning praise. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Come, then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock his shepherds. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. It was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Loving shepherd of thy sheep, keep thy lamb in safety keep. Nothing can thy power withstand, none can pluck me from thy hand. I would bless thee every day, gladly all thy will obey. Like thy blessed ones above, happy in thy precious love. Loving shepherd ever near, teach thy lamb thy voice to hear. Suffer not my steps to stray from the straight and narrow way. Where thou leadest, I would go, walking in thy steps below, till before my Father's throne I shall know as I am known. O Lord, in your light we see light itself. Sin speaks to the sinner in the depths of his heart. There is no fear of God before his eyes. He so flatters himself in his mind that he knows not his guilt. In his mouth are mischief and deceit. All wisdom is gone. He plots the defeat of goodness as he lies on his bed. He has set his foot on evil ways. He clings to what is evil. Your love, Lord, reaches to heaven. Your truth to the skies. Your justice is like God's mountain your judgments like the deep. To both man and beast, you give protection. O Lord, how precious is your love. My God, the sons of men find refuge in the shelter of your wings. They feast on the riches of your house. They drink from the stream of your delight. In you is the source of life, and in your light we see light. Keep on loving those who know you, doing justice for upright hearts. Let the foot of the proud not crush me, nor the hand of the wicked cast me out. See how the evildoers fall, flung down, they shall never arise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O Lord, Lord, in your, your light, light we, we see, see light itself. itself. Lord, you are the source of unfailing light. Give us true knowledge of your mercy, so that we may renounce our pride and be filled with the riches of your house. O God, you are great and glorious. We marvel at your power. Strike up. 
the instruments, a song to my God with timbrels, chant to the Lord with cymbals, sing to him a new song, exalt and acclaim his name. A new hymn I will sing to my God. O Lord, great are you and glorious, wonderful in power and unsurpassable. Let your every creature serve you, for you spoke and they were made. You sent forth your spirit and they were created. No one can resist your word. The mountains to their bases and the seas are shaken. The rocks, like walks, melt before your glance. But to those who fear you, you are very merciful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O God, you are great and glorious. We marvel at your power. Exalt in God's presence with hymns of praise. All peoples, clap your hands. Cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, we must fear, great King over all the earth. He subdues peoples under us and nations under our feet. Our inheritance, our glory is from Him, given to Jacob out of love. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God is King of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is King over the nations. God reigns on His holy throne. The princes of the peoples are assembled with the people of Abraham's God. The rulers of the earth belong to God, to God who reigns over all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Exalt in God's presence presence with with hymns of praise. praise. God, King of all peoples and all ages, it is your victory we celebrate as we sing with all the skill at our command. Help us always to overcome evil by good, that we may rejoice in your triumph forever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider how their lives ended and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teaching. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. Day or night, they will not cease to proclaim the name of the Lord. I have set my watchmen to guard you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking to you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham. 
to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called a prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Christ is the Good Shepherd who laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise and thank him as we pray. Nourish your people, Lord. Nourish your people, Lord. Christ, you decided to show your merciful love through your holy shepherds. Let your mercy always reach us through them. Nourish your people, Lord. Through your vicars, you continue to perform the ministry of shepherd of souls. Direct us always through our leaders. Nourish your people, Lord. Through your holy ones, the leaders of your people, you served as physician of our bodies and our spirits. Continue to fulfill your ministry of life and holiness in us. Nourish your people, Lord. You taught your flock through the prudence and love of your saints. Grant us continual growth in holiness under the direction of our pastors. Nourish your people, Lord. Let us now pray as Jesus Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord God, Saint Eusebius affirmed the divinity of your son. By keeping the faith he taught, may we come to share the eternal life of Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Good morning. Let us pray the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, She conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. It was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The morning offering. O Jesus, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, the salvation of souls, the reparation for sins, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and of all, and of all our parishioners, and in particular for the intentions of our Holy Father for this month. We pray the World Youth Day in Lisbon will help young people to live and witness the gospel in their own lives. Prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And you, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. On this, the memorial of St. Eusebius of Vercelli, Bishop. St. Eusebius was born in the beginning of the 4th century in Sardinia. He became a member of the Roman clergy, and in 345, was elected first Bishop of Vercelli. He spread religion by his preaching and established the monastic life in his diocese. Because of his faith, he was driven into exile by Emperor Constantius and endured much suffering. Returning to his country, he worked tirelessly against the Arians for the restoration of the faith. He died at Vercelli in 371. Let us now welcome our presiding priest, Father Joseph Landero.
my God, my light, my light. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. all say, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, through my most, most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, saints and you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to, to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Lord God, lead us to imitate the constancy of St. Eusebius in affirming the divinity of your Son, so that by persevering the faith he taught as your bishop, we may merit a share in the very life of your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. As Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the commandments in his hands, he did not know that the skin of his face had become radiant while he conversed with the Lord. When Aaron then and the other children of Israel saw Moses, and noticed how radiant the skin of his face had become, they were afraid to come near him. Only after Moses called to them did Aaron and all the rulers of the community come back to him. Moses then spoke to them. Later on, all the children of Israel came up to him and he enjoined on them all that the Lord had told him on Mount Sinai. When he finished speaking with them, he put a veil over his face. Whenever Moses entered the presence of the Lord to converse with him, he removed the veil until he came out again. On coming out, he would tell the children of Israel all that had been commanded. Then the children of Israel would see that the skin of Moses' face was radiant. So he would again put the veil over his face until he went in to converse with the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Holy is the Lord our God. Moses and Aaron were among his priests and Samuel among those who called upon his name. They called upon the Lord and he answered them. Holy is the Lord our God. From the pillar of cloud, he spoke to them. They heard his decrees and the law he gave them. Holy is the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain. For holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. I call 
call you, my friends, says the Lord, for I have made known to you all that the Father has told me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in the field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel from St. Matthew chapter 13, verses 44 onwards, the same gospel that we had last Sunday. Jesus likens the kingdom of God to a treasure buried in a field or a pearl of great price. Once it is found, the finder sells everything to acquire it, treasures it above all, and chooses it most above the rest. There is always a price to pay. There is always a sacrifice involved if we really want to belong to the kingdom of God. Basically, it is saying yes to God, which also means saying no to what the world treasures. And so we have a choice to live a life for ourselves or for others or a life for God. Last Sunday, we celebrated Filipino Missionary Sunday. I immediately in the morning prayed for one of my classmates. He's from Batangas. His name is Father Joseph Garcia. After we were ordained in 1996, just a few months after, he applied for China. And we know how difficult it is there, being a communist country. And he was accepted but he had to enter Hong Kong. Until now, he is still a missionary there. He had to stay in Hong Kong so that he can learn Mandarin and Cantonese. And it was very difficult. He was telling us the hardships he had to undergo. And the community, after finally he learned how to speak Cantonese, at least yung mga basic prayers and Mandarin, and he was able to lead the rosary, the community was rejoicing. Nag-celebrate sila, nag-ice cream sila, nag-pizza sila, kasi natuto siya sa kanilang lingwahe. And when he had to enter China, he had to do it in a very subtle way. He had to teach in the university so that he can enter. And in a subtle way, he was bringing Christ to them. He was proclaiming the good news to them. Na imagine ko lang, until now, he is still a missionary. Yung sacrifices involved. Yung sinasabing the price he has to pay for choosing God and being a missionary there. In his celebrated book, Jesus of Nazareth, Volume 1, Pope Benedict XVI declared in page 147, Jesus is the kingdom of God in person. The kingdom of God is present where he is present. And so to discover the hidden treasure and to find the exceptional pearl is to discover Christ. And St. Paul speaks of the excelling knowledge of Christ, beside which everything pales in comparison and all else is rubbish. This is in Philippians 3, verse 8. When one truly knows Christ, 
he sees everything in its true value and is ready to give up everything. For Christ demands nothing. And one more thing, when we give up everything for the Lord, He gives us Himself along with all that we have given up. Diba? In Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, it says, Seek first the kingdom, His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. He who lays up treasures in heaven looks forward to eternity. Indeed, how beautiful it would be when we would not give up one moment of heaven for God's kingdom, despite all the joy and riches of this world. Please stand for the intercessions. Let us heed the invitation of God our Father to ask from Him what we wish to give us and let it be what is important. Lord, you are our God and our all. Lord, you are our God and our all. That the Holy Father and the bishops may be guided and inspired by the wisdom of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, you are our God and our all. That we may use the material gifts necessary for our well-being in a proper way and not become victims of greed and selfishness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, you are our God and our all. That those who are searching for the truth may daily come to a deeper appreciation of faith in Jesus Christ as the pearl of great price. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, you are our God and our all. That the sick and those who care for them may be blessed in their sacrifices. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, you are our God and our all. That those who have departed from this life may rest in eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, you are our God and our all. In silence, let us pray for our own intentions, for all the intentions offered in this Mass, and for the intentions of those we promised to pray for. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, you are our God Father, and our all. Heavenly Father, source of all that is good in life, help us to use your gifts wisely and to rejoice in the treasure of your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, 
Look with favor, we pray, on the offerings we set upon the sacred altar, as we remember Saint Eusebius, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of Saint Eusebius, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of this holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we now proclaim the hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may be comforters, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy and the religious, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and our Mother of Perpetual Help, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may you praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we now pray. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily, our daily bread, bread, and forgive us, us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those, those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. strength are you alone my glory my king and my God Lord of all how lovely 
the spray. O Lord, renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray that following the example of St. Eusebius, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught. Through Ina, so please bear with the inconvenience. Salamat po. The Lord be with you. And with you.